So there are two favorite words that we are going to continue to repeat here in this gathering. The first you've already heard momentum. And the second is realize you are the vibrational interpreter of your life experience. And just like you interpret vibration into what you see and hear and smell and taste and feel with your fingertips, you are the realizer of everything that comes into your experience. So you know what you don't want, you know what you do want. The, the vortex is gathered all of it. And there is a vibrational version of you revealing itself to you at all moments, revealing itself to you. But the question that we want you to ask yourself is, are you right here right now in the vibrational frequency that lets you realize what's being offered to you? That's really what deliberate creation is about is about you tending to the only thing that you need to tend to, which is your point of attraction. You've been listening to us for a while. We know, and you've heard us say step one, step two, step three, step one is ask step two is the law of attraction and the source within you gathering all of the cooperative components and giving to you everything that you're asking for. But step three is you've got to be allowing of what's there. And this is what we've been talking about all morning. You must be in the step three mode of taking care of your vibrational grid, taking care of your set point, your point of attraction. That's what your work is. Life causes you to put all kinds of things in that vortex. You don't even have to think about that. The contrast of your life is causing that expansion and the source within you is lined up with it. And law of attraction is gathering the cooperative components. In other words, you don't need to worry about, you don't need to focus about step one or step two. Those things are happening. They are happening. They just are happening. They are happening. They are happening. We never want to hear any of you say, well, I'm going to go out today deliberately and have some step one moments, which is equivalent to say, I'm going to go make as much trouble as I can and send off as many rockets of desire as I can. You don't have to go looking for trouble. It will find you. We promise you. The contrast is there, but your undivided attention, if we were standing in your physical shoes would be about where am I in terms of my vibration? What grid am I on? And we would go to bed every night thinking about these grid discs. We would visualize them and we'd think about those high flying, good feeling ones. And we would focus upon the, that. And when we would wake up in the morning, we would say, that's the one I choose. This is what I choose. And what you're going to discover in the hours and days and weeks that follow this discussion, when a thought begins, just like standing up on that hill in front of your car, when a thought begins, that isn't up to speed with the disc you really want to be on. You're going to have the thought, Oh, this is not the disc I meant to choose. And if you catch it that fast, no momentum, no momentum, no momentum. And in the absence of the introduction of those slower momentums, this vortex that is really you, will sweep you in.